Windows 10 does a fantastic job of messing up your perfectly set up Wacom tablet settings. Nothing triggers me more than when I lose pressure sensitivity on my tablet for absolutely no reason. Well, maybe besides my Wi-Fi going out, but anyway. In fact, Windows is prioritizing its own features over the Wacom drivers that we all prefer. A few problems include loss of pressure sensitivity and this nonsensical circle that keeps you from doing anything logical with your pen. Here are a few ways to make sure your Wacom tablet is in charge and not your crazy over controlling operating system. 1. Go to your search bar and search for pen settings. Go in there and turn everything off. The cursor is optional and I like to see where mine is for whenever this applies, so I leave it be. Go back to your search bar and search for flicks. Choose Turn Flicks On and Off, and turn it all off. Be sure to click Apply before you leave the tab to make it so. 2. Turn the f***ing circle off. I genuinely feel sorry for the designer who came up with this idea, and others who decided to make it a default feature in the operating system. Get rid of this stupid circle when you click and hold. 3. Update the Wacom driver. Make sure your driver is up to date. You can go to the Wacom website to find the latest driver details, but to be honest, this almost never works for me. 4. Restart the Wacom driver. Sometimes the driver just needs a jump. Go search for services and click on it. Find the driver named Wacom Professional Service and double click it, or right click and go to properties. It's more effective if you manually turn off the driver and then turn it back on. Don't ask me why, it just works better that way. 5. Reset user preferences. If none of that yields any desirable result, try resetting your Wacom user preferences by going to the Wacom Tablet Preference File Utility. What a stupid name. Click Remove for all user preferences. It'll do its thing and... Finally! We have what we want, a pen that actually acts like a pen and not some stupid pointer for a mobile device. Remember, if you make any changes to the operating system's pen settings, more often than not, you'll have to go back to the Wacom Tablet Preference File Utility and remove user preferences again. This seems to be the most effective fix for me, personally. And by god, if none of this works for you, I suggest you grab a bottle of whiskey, a pet companion, and watch your favorite show in order to calm down. You can even approach the problem tomorrow, and you're less pissed at the world. More resources can be found in the description. Thanks for watching, I really do hope this has been helpful. Good luck.